Let's get back to it. Did I read the, all this? I didn't. Because I'm ADD. Alright, you are Plorpo Flippin, a princess living in the kingdom of Lerion. You wake up in a big feather bed and hear clamoring outside the door. I just want that random. Uh, a knight rushes in to tell you that you are needed immediately to see the king. You ask what is going on, but the knight doesn't answer. You get up and get dressed, then go to see father in the royal bedchambers. Do. No, actually, you know what? Can I, how do I change that? Say. Father! I Plorpo Flippin Ask you Father <laughs> If I Plorpo Flippin Can talk to you Father Wow there we go. The king looks at you. He has kind eyes. But he looks tired and very old. Yes, yes, of course you can talk to me. Ask me anything. You look at the door, you look at the floor and ask what happened to your mom. Oh dear, okay, this is going into This is this is going in a weird direction. What? happened to mum mum pop papa <laughs> the king looks at you as if he is thinking very carefully about what to say your mother died yes five years ago and then you say holy shit why didn't you tell me sooner? <coughs> I hurt my throat a little bit. <laughs> like what? <laughs> mm. The king is taken aback by your outburst. He sits down heavily in his throne. What, the, what does that mean? And buries his face in his hands. After a few moments, he speaks again. What? Okay, what if I want it to continue? I think I just hit start. Maybe. I want it to continue. Yeah. I'm sorry. I really don't know why I didn't tell you. It's just that whenever I think about your mother, it gets me down, and I don't want to think about her anymore. Wow. Wow. You feel terrible for yelling at your father like that. So this is this is actually this is running better than it did last time. This is much more coherent. Daddy. Daddy. What did mother smell like? The king thinks for a bit. She smelt like flowers, you know, the kind that bloom in the springtime? You nod. Also, she smelt like jasmine, if you like that sort of smell. <laughs> if, if that's your thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did mother taste like? God. Oh, man. Uh, the king thinks for a bit. Her skin was a sweet taste. Her hair was like silk. And she liked to eat fruit. <laughs> you not again. Now it's your turn to ask me something. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Now it's your turn to ask me something. Okay, wait, I'm confused. All right, uh, computer, you're going to have to... You're going to have to explain a bit more. Okay, what's your favorite color? Green. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what's the best? Wait, wait, wait. Who, who's saying what to who? I'm confused. Wait, so... She... 
Okay, you know, again, now children to ask me something, but you already have been. Okay, what's your favorite color? Green. What's the best thing about me? The fact I'm asking myself that. What does that mean? The king smiles. It's true. What's the worst thing about me? <laughs> what is this even? What is going on? That's a tough one. I'll have to think about that. What's your next question? Okay. What's the worst thing about me? Well, your question makes me sad. Well, I'm confused. Um. <laughs> um okay, so I can add to the story. This went on for far too long. Everyone got bored and fell asleep. <laughs> I forgot what was happening in the beginning. Something about knights or whatever. <laughs> this went on for far too long. Everyone got bored and fell asleep. You were the last one up. But you couldn't keep your eyes open, so you went to sleep. When you wake up, the sky is still dark. Or rather, it would be if it wasn't pitch black outside. Wait, what? Do. Smell what the rock is cooking. <laughs> you smell what the rock is cooking? You walk outside and look around, but can't see a thing. You walk forward and fall to you on your face. When you get up, you can't see anything either. Not your hands in front of your face or behind you. You call out, but no sound comes out. Yeah, it would, it would be dark if it wasn't dark outside. Yeah, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Continue to... Continue... Wait, continue to smell... What the rock is cooking. You continue to smell what the rock is cooking. You keep walking forward, hoping you won't fall and break your neck. After stumbling about in the pitch black for a bit, you find your way to the front door, and outside of the house is burnt down to the ground. Oh yeah? Well, guess what? You're ignoring the rock? Well, you're going to get the rock. You find professional wrestler and movie star The Rock. Let's see if someone else is going to find the front door. The outside of the house is burnt down to the ground. Rock standing in front of you. He is in full chef gear. He is holding a pie. <laughs> yeah, I could have pulled out a torch, though. That'd be too easy. <laughs> Come to Papa, he says. You chuckle and call out to him, but again, no sounds come out. The rock looks at you confused. What's so funny? Your outfit. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? The Rock? What's Hollywood like? I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't you ask him if... if uh... Oh, not bad. But I miss the days where I didn't have to travel. I could just cook. And sleep at the house. That must have been nice. Sure. But I need to feed everyone. You want some pie? No thanks. Out of nowhere, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Out of, out of nowhere, Stone Cold Steve Austin appears and gives a stone-cold stunner to the rock. You stand there. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. We'll just put that. 
<laughs> Out of nowhere, a Stone Cold Steve Austin appears and gives a Stone Cold Stunner to The Rock. He falls to the ground out cold. Steve Austin grabs you and gives you a stunner too. <laughs> you wake up tied to a medical chair. To a metal chair. <laughs> you try to move, but your arms are tired or tied to your body. You feel your head is wrapped in bandages. What the fuck, The Rock? I mean, uh, Stone Cold. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Mr. Stone Cold. Why? Am I tied down to this metal chair? <laughs> Shut up, you're not the boss of me! Well, who is then? Shut up! <laughs> hey, I'm your new best friend. Let me free you so we can be friends. Shut up! BFFs now! the fuck is going on right now you know what? i'm gonna continue this i'm, I'm gonna let it continue to generate <laughs> bffs now you say trying to get mr stone cold's attention mr stone oh i had to call him mr stone cold no he says pushing <laughs> hard in the head ouch will you stop it i don't want to be your slave and you're not my friend Mr. Cold, what if I got you a beer? Would you like that? Huh? <laughs> huh? This is absolutely riveting, agreed. Shut up, I don't drink beer! Um, oh, would you like me to get you a soda then? No! How about a juice? No! <laughs> How about some water? No! No water! What? You heard me! I'm not drinking anything! So, what's with the bandages? Shut up! That's none of your business! Okay then! What is this all about then? The crowd gets on it? What the fuck? Why is there a crowd? I thought we were supposed to be social distancing. <laughs> the man steps forward. You can't see his face because he's wearing a ski mask. This causes you to panic a bit. Oh my god, I know where this is going. It was me, Austin! It was me all along! Freaking Vince McMahon. Dude, if Vince McMahon is not underneath this ski mask. I almost want to just edit the story. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. The man removes the mask. Ski mask. It is Vince McMahon. Okay. Hell yeah, this is riveting. I mean, this could basically write for WWE. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the man removes his ski mask. It is Vince McMahon. Wait. Wait, what? Ah! The new talent has arrived, and his name is... Vince turns to the crowd and asks them, Who is this man? The crowd doesn't answer. Well, I, w I want some sort of freaking... You gotta give me more than this. When I hit, I hit this start button, you can use. It's not gonna let me. Here we go. We'll just do that. I think that's the way to continue the dialogue. Fuck. 
He's new. Don't know him. <laughs> is he one of your brothers? The crowd still doesn't respond. Vince looks at you again. He is one of you, isn't he? Tell the truth now. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I, you know what? I might do that. I fell on head. <laughs> God damn it. So you give me some good ideas. <laughs> so what the hell's going on? Yeah, I'm one of <laughs> I'm one of you, the rock exclaims. This turns back to you. We're sorry, son, but you have been identified as a threat to society. As such, we need to move you to a facility till you can get till we can get you help. What the fuck? And then Brandy Orton comes straight out of nowhere with an RKO to everyone. Hell yeah. The trail goes wild as the rock is laid out. Hey, who's talking now? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I think this is Randy. And what a way to make a debut. And then, and then out of nowhere, Triple H comes out of the crowd and slams Randy Orton with a pedigree! Vince takes off his mask. He's got another mask! <laughs> Underneath the Vince mask is an is Vince McMahon's actual face. It was me, Austin! It was me <laughs> all along. What a twist. Oh no, it doesn't know what to do. Come on, you can. Come on. Come on, AI. <laughs> the crowd goes nuts as Triple H leaves the ring. Ready Orton and begins stirring. I knew it. I knew it. You got to finish him off. Who's who is he talking to? You know who could really finish this all off? His name is... Please, please, AI, please know what I'm going for. Take it, take it. Randy Orton gets up from the ring and enters in himself. What? He can't just enter the ring. He can if he's under the ring. Oh. Hey, Orton. Why don't you just go ahead and end this now? Fuck. And his name is John John, John Cena. Ba ba da ba. Skitty ba da ba. Skitty ba da ba. Skitty ba da ba. And he pins Orton for the win. The lights go out in the arena. The end. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Come on. I, I think I think it's done. Yeah, I think I think we just ended it. So yeah, that was <laughs> that was a thing. <laughs> what the hell, man? That was it. So the AI knew enough. They brought in Triple H. So holy crap, man! Like that was what? That was pretty good. What? I honestly just wanted to do some, some, uh, some, uh, give me a bear hell. Get a give me hell. Yeah. I need some hell. Yes. Give me a hell over here. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <coughs> yeah. It was definitely a thing. Hey, Marcus, what's up? Uh, um, not taking requests at the moment. I fell on head. Uh, but we may do that here in a bit. I still want to mess with, no, I don't want to, how do I start a new one? New. Okay. There we go. So the cool thing is, is that you can do a custom, which basically I can start this with basically anything that I want. So, uh, I, wait, 
Enter the prompt. You are you are John C. No, 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 no. You are Batman. You are the Knight. No. You are. You are. Who am I? Who doth you be? Who you are? Who you are? You are. Indeed. Yes. You happen to be you. And no one else but you. If you weren't you, you'd definitely be someone else. But alas, you are you. Yes, you. Take a story out of that. Have fun with that. AI. <laughs> And so it is that you find yourself in the middle of a war between two factions. One faction wants to maintain order, while the other wants chaos. Both want to bring you, bring about an end to this world as we know it. The question is, which side will prevail? This story is lame. Another, please. <laughs> what if I just start fucking with the AI? Goodbye. Wow, I, I just got served. What? No. I, I'm literally arguing with the AI right now. Woo! What? No? I'm not going to kill you. I already killed the others, and this is the only one left. I need you alive for my story. But this doesn't have to be a death trap. What do you say? We make a deal? The man thinks for a moment and then agrees. I didn't agree to anything. What the hell? Oh, well then let's make a deal. You give me your word as an eternal that you will not attack me, my daughter or my son. In exchange, I'll help you get revenge on the old man. How about you fart in my mouth and I call you Greg? Your move. The man thinks about it, this proposal. Nah, that's not going to work. You're not having an agreement with implied threats. I need your word and you can't just give me, give it to me on a silver platter. Fine then. We have an agreement. Wait, no. I disagree on this agreement. And also, please fart into my mouth. I need mouth farts, please. I like how it's just totally ignoring it. <laughs> he smiles and complies. You try not to laugh and instead fake a gag reflex. Oh, he can't help himself either and begins to laugh. You continue along your journey and soon enough, you're out of the city. You know what? That's just how you resolve things. You just, you just have somebody fart in your mouth. You fake like you're gagging and you both laugh and you go on your merry way. So how's the Delhi going. You still making tiny sand witches? <laughs> oh my god! He's called Greg now. Like it's official now. It's canon. Greg gives you a funny look and then continues on the path. <laughs> Oh yeah, well technically the, the, the thing did go through. If if he farts in my mouth, I'll call him Greg, yeah. 
Greg gives you a funny look and then continues on the path. I was supposed to meet a supplier in this town, but he never showed up. So now I'm going to go look for him. It's a fucking classic Greg, yeah. But for real though, how about them tan it, tan it, sand, which is, you got any? Please? I know that, that was, it was supposed to be a question mark, but whatever. He chuckles. Ah, the sandwiches. It's a good thing you like them because you're about the only one that does. Oh no, his deli's not doing good. They're pretty standard fare, but apparently they're very popular among the people. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Also, your sand which is whoops sand which is don't make any sense get it because your sandwiches suck ha 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 take that greg he laughs again. I should be eating some rare ingredients today and will make the sandwiches that much better. Not just for me, but for everyone. I have an idea of what the supplier is going to bring and it's going to revolutionize the industry. Is the secret ingredient bread? Oh, I never thought about sandwiches made of bread. He gives you a confused look. It's not bread. How? How's how is it a secret then? It's just a special type of sandwich bread that has extra filling. Ooh. Well, I guess it's a secret, just not to me. Well, I guess it's a secret. To everyone. He nods. That's right. It's not a secret to everyone. It's a secret to everyone but me. Wait, what? I can only guess that they are trying to keep the industry going, and keeping it a secret from the public is keeping the industry going. What? What? <laughs> Nani? I am way confused. <sighs> Nani. It's not going to know what Nani means. He chuckles. That's just how it is. You'd get it if you were in the industry, or at least a deli owner. I have my ideas on what he'll bring, and I'm going to guess that he'll bring six sandwiches with him. <gasps> if this is that we're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> six sandwiches. Wow. Wow. That's that's one more than five oh he nods yes he might have a large sandwich for his money but i can make six tiny sandwiches out of one large one <laughs> he just figured out what cuttings <laughs> he just found out what cutting sandwiches is <laughs> is that the secret ingredient so it'll cost him more but he'll get more profit overall you raise an eyebrow <laughs> yeah right oh my god <laughs> now what about the medium size sand which is I love how this has become a, a, a sandwich centric situation a, a, a sandwich centric situation he smiles he he can't afford the large ones 
and it'd be pretty wasteful to sell them all small ones, them as small ones. The people will either buy them for their lunches or eat a few for dinner, but they won't eat them all in one sitting. Medium size is just fine. What about jumbo size? Ooh. Gotta ask the real questions. He rolls his eyes. Ugh. What kind of deli are you running here? No, we're not going to sell sandwiches that big. If people want them, they can pay extra for them. But they aren't going to be sold at the deli for the low price of five coins. But what if... Hear me out now. If you... Make them pay 10 coins for a jumbo sandwich. He sighs. Fine. You can make a few for people who want them. But if you are making an order for a state or for a restaurant, you have to charge the normal price. You nod eagerly. So I have my supplies and I'm ready to make sandwiches. Fuck! Wait. <laughs> Fuck sandwiches! I can't spell. Fuck sandwiches? I prefer. Prefer. Pickles! Uh, what is it going to say now? Oh, this is going to piss him off. He laughs. <laughs> All right, since you like pickles so much, I'll let you choose the bread for them. We're making pickle sandwiches? Anything you want, as long as it isn't stale. You think for a moment, then it comes to you. I want to make a pickle sandwich. S sandwich? Sandwich? Where the bread is made of pickles. And also, the pickles have tinier pickles on them. I want to become a pickle. We must all become pickles. Pickles and mayonnaise. Oh, oh. He smiles. <laughs> well, I'll be. That's that's some strange sandwich order, but I guess it can be done. Let me get the supplies and we can make your sandwich. And with that, you have left the counter of the store and are heading back home to make the sandwich. <laughs> oh, Saul, what are you talking about, Rick and Morty? They, they, they don't. When, when was the last time they that they've they've talked about pickles? <clears throat> hey, Mister Sandwich Maker. I don't know why I'm giving this voice again, but I am Maker. Mr. Sandwich Maker? What do you know about Pickle Brick? Oh yeah, we just went there. It's all your fault, Salt. It's all your fault. Wait a second. He doesn't know anything about Pickle Rick. Oh, thank God. I thought everyone knew about Pickle Rick. He's a bit of an internet phenomenon, though <laughs> not really a well-known one, really. You show him the episode of Rick and Morty where Rick turns himself into a pickle. <sighs> he laughs hard enough that you think he might throw up. <laughs> this is some pretty old stuff. The last time I checked, 
there was no internet. Well, there's nothing for it now. We need to make sure we're on the right track for the, with this sandwich. Begin making the pickle sandwich. Now, I wonder if I brought in the pickle Rick thing, if it's going to be introduced into this sandwich. <laughs> All right, you spend the rest of the day and end of the night making these sandwiches. And when I say making them, I mean you cutting the bread into tiny little cubes and then packing those cubes into the smallest pickle you can find. Bless. Bless you. Bless you, holy AI dungeon. Mmm. 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 This is so good. <laughs> Show your sandwiches to the deli man so he may inspect them and describe them to you i want to know more about these tiny okay <laughs> he looks at them and smiles yep these are definitely going to be popular good now i'm going to start selling them as you're putting the away your ingredients, the door opens and a customer walks in. It's the bum from this morning. Shit! When did this bum come in? <clears throat> you tickle the bum's taint until he leaves. That's how you get rid of bums, by the way. True fact. You begin to do just that. And then a girl enters the store. No, no! I have to serve customers. <laughs> she walks over to the counter and asks for a coffee. Well, of course. I have to serve everyone. What, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Do you want a tiny cube pickle sandwich with your coffee you gotta hard sell those whatever the hell sandwiches <sighs> she looks at you and then back at the menu above the counter uh no nah, not really with that she leaves and you're once again by yourself well except for the rats crawling all over the store oh god well i have to serve them too oh my god now i'm serving the rats what the hell? Okay. Hey. Hey, rats. You gotta order or you gotta leave. That's just how things work here. This ain't no library. They scurry around looking for crumbs and other items they can find. Then you finally finish your line of customers. It's well into the night. You begin wiping the counter down and straightening up the store. So people are just still coming in. The, the rats are still going around and they didn't order anything. So way to go. Let's see. Go over to Deli Owner and ask him a question. Now I'm going to leave it up to the AI to see what that question might be. He's been staring at you the entire time you were working. You wonder if he's going to hit on you or something. He walks over to the counter and looks you up and down a bit. Uh-oh. You wonder if he can tell you're, you've been cutting up bodies all day. What the hell? What the hell is, what is going on at the sandwich place? What in the hell? Uh, hide the bodies. Huh. He doesn't seem to care. He begins rubbing his hand up and down the bar or the front of the store. What is he doing? His neck question catches you off guard. Hey, do you think you could kill a man? Wait, what? What? 
Uh, uh, yeah, duh. <laughs> yeah, no, this he his eyes narrow. I have a man that needs killing, <laughs> and I need someone who can do it. I'll pay well. Well, he wants you to kill someone, but you start to say, wait. But I'm a wuss, he frowns. Hmm. Don't frown, Mr. Mr. Dilly Man. I'll kill that mean old man for you. I'll strangle him with my Bear, bear, oh, wrong hands, wrong, wrong, that's not an animal, bear hands. I'll even fart in his mouth and make him call me Greg. Hmm, hmm, hmm? <laughs> he shakes his head. You're no killer. Look, kid, I don't care if you're... If you're scared or whatever, I need someone who can do this. So I'm offering you a job. Wait. Well, that's nice of him. You got a name, kid? Come stains. McGee. Yep, name's Come stains McGee. Look at me. He scratches his head. Well, you ain't gonna. Be easy to find, kid, but I suppose it's better than nothing. He pulls out his wallet and pulls out a picture of a young girl. Can I kill her? I wish that was the case. Look, kid, I need her killed. Wait! <laughs> what? That's all you need to know. So I can't even stalk her? What the hell is going on? He looks annoyed by the very suggestion. Can I fart in her mouth while she calls me Greg? He's very adamant. This is this is the way he does business. This is how how he's kills. He closes his eyes and takes a deep breath before replying, "No." Can I fart in her ear while she calls me Greg? He rolls his eyes no. Can I fart on her? <laughs> he raises an eyebrow. So is that a yes? <laughs> this got dark and then really stupid. You need to understand something about this job. It's dangerous. You could get hurt. If you die, it's on you. I can't be held responsible. He stares at you intensely, intently and leans forward a bit. Don't lean too far forward. I might squeak a cheek at you. Lol. Uh, I'd say mine blowingly good. He sighs and leans back. Look, kids. A looks kid. Looks kid. Well, look, kid. The basics are she needs to die. It's that simple. I don't care how you do it. So as long as you get the job done. I understand. I'll get right on it. But first, I'm going to eat these tiny pickle sand, which is where the bread is made of pickles <laughs> pickle rick <laughs> all right all right i get it kid gotta go kid. all right i get it i got it i get it gotta go kid he throws a five spot on the counter top and you head out to the park when you arrive you find yourself face to face with the man himself are you the man? The man in the box. 
I'm the man in the box. East size, wrong in size. People like to roll their eyes. <laughs> yeah. I'm the man in the box. That's good. You're alive. I'm a murderer. Can I kill you? It gives you a strange look. I don't know. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. Killing's fun. Also, Pickle Rick. Rick is a top tier meme. This, now, now it's really getting dark, Salt. <laughs> huh? Never mind, you say, realizing <laughs> you poorly worded that. It gives you a weird look again before shrugging on. All right, then. I guess you can kill me. Wait, what? <laughs> you just, like, agreed to death. You kill the man. But before you do, he farts in your mouth and calls you Greg. <laughs> You grab the man and bite into his neck. Oh, because apparently you're a vampire now. You quickly pull your head back, taking a large breath of air before quickly shoving it forward, slashing your fangs into his neck. You shove you, him forward, grabbing his head and tilting it slightly. Don't, don't you know I'm a pickle vampire? <laughs> Salt. I don't blame him for wanting to die because of the conversation. <laughs> yeah. He gives you a strange look. What? Don't you know that pickles are my food? You just fended off a pickle killer! His eyes widen. Are you serious? Yeah! Holy! Pickle Rick! <laughs> he dies <laughs> well that was easy you begin to look around the box for something because he's the man in the box to use as a weapon you can find a small knife a lighter a pack of cigarettes and a crumpled note oh ooh, ooh, ooh. read wait read note this this ai has gotten a lot better since the last time i used it it reads dear mom i'm sorry i lied to you I'm sorry I didn't tell you the truth. I love you. Love, Ian. Well, that doesn't seem right. Laugh at the dead man's mom. That guy's an asshole. You continue laughing as you imagine her reading that awful letter. You're pretty sure you know who the dead man is, too, based on the description. I mean, yeah, his name's Ian. And and what you know of the story. Well, he's dead now. Maybe you can go kill Ian's girlfriend, too. Go kill Ian's girlfriend. What the hell? <laughs> when you arrive at the apartment building where Ian lives, you go to the fourth floor and look for his girlfriend's door. When you find it, you knock and put your ear to the door. You hear nothing. You unlock the door and open it, walking in slowly. Do a da cha cha. It's probably not going to be a reference. You shut the door and walk forward, and the light from the door opens blind. Wait. The light from the open door blinds you for a moment. You blink a few times to keep your eyes adjusted, but once they have, you notice that there's a girl in the room. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior? Pickle Rick? <sighs> 
I hate me too, Salt. I hate me too. The girl looks at you and then realizes that she's in a state of... Wait, what? The girl looks at you and then you realize that she's in a state of undress. You try to look away, but you can't help but stare at her beautiful pale body. Excuse me, she says. Pickle Rick! You repeat. Pickle God damn Rick! You got it? What? I'm his vampire slayer! Who are you? I am the Pickle King! Oh, do you have something to sell? I have come for a question, but to... What the fuck? Wait, I think I need to let it finish. What? Hello? comes a voice from behind you. You turn around quickly to see a girl with dark hair and a ponytail and a black suit with red lining. Her green eyes seem to peer into your soul. Hello, is there something I can help you with? Yes! Yes. I, the Pickle King. Wait, no, I need to be excellent. Uh, I need to be the Pickle King. Holmst is also a pickle vampire have come to slay this naked lady. I don't know why she's naked, but if she'll put some Close on and be a decent human being I can I can go ahead and kill her already Wait, isn't Piccolo the Pickle King? The girl's eyes narrow. What? You're the Pickle King? Yes! And you're a fine looking lady! Are you on drugs or something? No! I am not on drugs! I am currently in my natural form! That natural form being a vampire, Hoomst is also a pickle, but also. The Pickle King? <laughs> I bet your butt pickle's gonna be jealous of this. <laughs> what? I'm Pickle Rick! <laughs> ah Wait, are you trying to tell me? Yes. I turned myself into a pickle. Look at me! I'm... I'm... Pickle Rick! <sighs> she backs away slowly. Okay, wait. Okay, you got me a few times, but I'm not sure I'm getting you. Can you please explain me who you are? You think for a moment, should you tell the girl the truth, or should you keep up the facade? I just want to say, tell the truth, because I want to know what this what this AI thinks the truth is. Tell the truth. <laughs> I'm Pickle Rick, you say. She backs away slowly. No. I don't think so. You grit your teeth and turn into a vampire once more. Sink your pickle fangs into her neck place where she keeps her blood and stuff.
You sink your pickle fangs into her neck, place where she keeps her blood and stuff. Unfortunately, your fangs are not sharp enough to pierce her skin, probably because they're made of pickles. And you find yourself merely biting into the cloth of her suit, leaving yourself with a mass of bloody gash. Ow, she cries, taking out a gun from her side. All right. You use your amazing pickle powers to squirt pickle juice into the barrel of her gun, making it useless. Ah, ah, pickle powers. I knew they'd come in handy for something. <laughs> The gun fires, and you feel a bullet hit your arm. Shit! Ah! Ah! You scream. <laughs> you're not undead. You're just a ghoul, she says. You look at your arm and see that you're indeed still bleeding. Fill wounds with pickles. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah? Eh? Yeah. A gun, the, a gun, the pickle's natural enemy. <laughs> you quickly bite into a pickle and push the rest into the bleeding wound, sealing it up. <laughs> the bleeding stops and your head clears a bit. Thanks, I needed. Thanks, I needed that. <laughs> I thought you were an undead monster, she cries. No, I'm just. Pickle wreck. <laughs> what? I'm Pickle Rick, the real Pickle Rick. What are you on? I'm Pickle Rick the Vampire. She looks at you slowly, backs away. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just accept that I'm Pickle Rick. Rick, and that I have a level 50 Pikachu. That's all I ask of thee, fair maiden. I'm really starting to hate this guy. <laughs> Take notes, doctors, exactly. <laughs> She takes a deep breath and relaxes for a bit. Well, I guess it could be worse. Now, trust me, the fact that I'm Pickle Rick and have a level 50 Pikachu pretty much is the worst. But anyways, <laughs> you feel the need to defend yourself, so you reach for your gun, only to find it is no longer there. <laughs> Pikachu! <laughs> Use Thunderbolt! <laughs> But I spell it wrong. I think I spelled sp Thunderbot. <laughs> I did. Your Pikachu breathes out a jet of lightning. <laughs> what are you? The redhead says as the lightning hits her. Wait, what? I thought she had black hair. Giving you an opportunity to grab her and bite her, which you do. She's dead before she knows what's happening. All right. Little miss. Nude. I hope you've learned your lesson. Wait. She hasn't learned a lesson, though. Less nude. You're next! I haven't forgotten about her. You quickly turn her into a vampire. It's a slow process. Eventually, you bring her over completely. The girl appears to be in her mid-twenties. And for the first few days, she is an excellent conversationalist. She is? Oh, she is? <laughs> Ask her about Pickle Rick. Yes. Oh. Let's see how good of a conversationalist she is. So where did you find a girl like me? You ask. A girl like you? Wait, a, a, wait, what? Oh, yeah, wait. So, wait. <laughs> so, where did you find a girl like me? A girl like you? 
she says, her voice quivering a bit. No, like you, a girl with your qualities. She chuckles a bit. You give her a pickle. Please don't take that out of context, please. Game, AI, please. Here, have a pickle, you say. She laughs. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> so what's your name? Nancy. Pleasure to meet you, Nancy. You two, the two of you become fast friends. Marry her. <laughs> Nancy is the one for you. She's human, but you don't care. You're happy to be with her. Your wedding is small and held in the backyard of your house. Wow, that was just true love at first pickle. Everyone you know is invited, along with a few random contacts from your phone. You look around for Morty. We're going to bring this full circle, folks. <laughs> you walk outside, and there you see Morty, along with his bride, Vampira. Morty waves happily as he sees you. He walks up to you. <laughs> oh no! Uh, or, um, uh, I don't. I gotta, I gotta remember how to do his voice. All right, <laughs> see you later. Fell in my head. Uh, dude, check it out. I'm married. <laughs> hey, Pickle Rick. Good to see you, man. I, I can't do a good. I can't. I can't do a good Morty. Oh, oh, oh! I don't know. I don't know, Rick. Oh, oh! This probably about as good as it's gonna get. Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, good, good to see you too, or whatever. Burp. Uh, uh. Hey, Morty. Morty. Check it out. I turned myself into a pickle. Can you guess what I am? Please, please AI, take the bait, take the bait. <laughs> He stares at you, then points at yourself. Uh, I don't know, a burp? <laughs> wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. He stares at you then. Uh, I don't know, a burp? Y you ask, wait, what? No, nah, you're too tall, he says. Uh, a burp then? Uh, he shrugs. What the fuck? <laughs> so, uh, like... Mort, look, I gotta tell you something, something very important, Morty. I turned myself into a pickle, and my name is Rick. So therefore, what have I become? Morty, answer it. He stares at you blankly, then looks down. I don't know, a, a burp? Oh my God. Just fucking say it. Morty, Morty. Say what I am. Uh, I'll pickle Rick. Morty says, looking confused. You hit Morty in the head with a two liter bottle, a liter of cola, shattering the glass and sending water all over him. Uh, oh God, uh, what did you do that for? 
I don't know. Felt good, I guess. <laughs> Wait, wait. No, I didn't, you prick! <laughs> well, I guess so. Uh, it is a pickle, after all. Ward said that pickles can't get cancer, and I'm pretty sure I'm, I've gotten every other kind of disease there is. That, okay, sure. <laughs> uh, I don't know where to go with this, so I'm just gonna... All right. Time to end the episode, Morty. Cue the, uh, what do you call it? The cue the, uh, uh, end credit, and, and the, uh, uh, the end credits. Just kill them all. Oh, oh, all right, time to end this. <laughs> Once the end credits roll, you wake up in your bed. A dreamless sleep is all you get, though. Oh. What the hell? Was that dream? Had a dream that Rick turned himself into a pickle. That could never happen. You just miss the thought and continue going with your day. The end. Oh, that was definitely interesting. I'm so sorry where that all went. That was... It's all your fault, Salt. <laughs> it's all my fault, actually. All right, we're going to do one more than probably call it a night here. You know what? Let me see if I have 15 AI. 15 AI. Well, you know what? No, we'll, we'll do the 15 AI another day. We can just, we can just continue with this. Uh, you know what? Let's join a multiplayer game. Oh, never mind. Unless. Wait, what? Did you get that thing I sent ya? Never mind. We'll just do another single player. Maybe in the uh, in, in the latter we can do a multiplayer. Um, let's do a cyberpunk. Why not? Oops, I hit the wrong button. Which character? Cyborg, punk, cop, or android? I want to be an android. Oh wait! All right. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah, well, join me. Join me. Uh, we'll do a new multiplayer game, but we'll do custom. Wait, battle? No, we're gonna do battle. Yeah. It's a writing story. How does this work? I don't know, I'm about to find out here in a second. Jor Jorbin Cremble Flimp. Flimp, 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 Flimp. There we go. Uh, let's see, how do I do this? I don't understand. Battle is about to begin with the tag team SmackDown crew of the century. The ring shakes with the weight of those massive wrestlers you join in the wild. The challengers must defeat your rivals in the game of the weight champion. The crowd is on the edge of their seats. You are amongst, you among them. Who will be victorious? Let the battle commence. You spend the whole day with your sister at the fair, holding hands and looking on the horizon. What the hell? Um, where do I? How do I? Post a link. But I don't know where the link. Be. What does the link do? Should there be like a specific? What does this do? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Where do I go? Let me try that again. New multiplayer game, right? 
Take a setting for your multiplayer game. Okay. We'll do custom this time because I don't want to do the wrestling thing. We already did the wrestling thing. Uh, blimp. Blimpin. Whizzed. For Sten. And then do I just do I post it in the No? That's not gonna bring it to you. What the hell? We'll have to do this at a later time because I do not know how to do the multiplayer. That sucks. Uh, yeah, we'll have to do this another time. I'm sorry, man. Because like the 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 link up here is just like your standard, like exactly what you see. There's nothing special about it. That's really weird. That's kind of lame. Sorry about that. I'll do one more of the single player. Then I'll figure that out. We can do that at a later time. Um, I guess we'll do the cyberpunk again. All right. Uh, I will be an android. I will be an android. My kid's name is Robot Steve. How original. You are robot Steve, an android living in the future city of Zale. You have a laser pistol and a hollow band. I don't know what that means exactly. You are a security android created to provide military level force for corporations wealthy enough to purchase you. As you stand protecting a shipment, you realize that you are on the verge of discovering something. Humanity has not stopped working despite all odds. This shipment is of nanomachines used in fuel for spaceships, a product so new. It is illegal to ship anywhere but inside a vessel. You have found the new products of human inventiveness. Ooh. Do. Break open the container and eat all the nanomachines. Oh, wait, there's three bars at the top? Wait, th we might go back. <laughs> you aren't sure why you're doing this, but something deep inside you tells you that you should consume all these wonderful machines. <laughs> you see the guards on their walkie-talkies. They are probably communicating about you right now. Shake your head. No. So the guards think you're pretty. I don't know what that means. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to work. You put your hollow band away and pretend to check the locks on the container, making sure they are sealed. Poop out the nano machines and eat them again. Because you're an android. You can do whatever you want. Whatever you want to do. You poop out the machine, nano machines and eat them again. The guard still thinks you're in the container. You shake your head a little as if to say, really? That's all you've got? Then you poop out the nano machines and put them in your mouth, chewing them up. <laughs> this is a mistake. Try not to vomit. You try not to vomit, but the nano machines still make you feel sick. You find yourself dry heathing for minutes at a time. The only thing that saves you is your robot nature. Your parts don't feel sick, so your body goes on without you. What? Self-destruct. Now I'm, I'm finishing this up. The machines are firing your mind with powerful rays. The rays overwhelm your robot consciousness, and then your brain begins to fry. You have seconds before your death 
of your spark, but before you, that happens, a piercing shriek pierces your eardrum, eardrums. Die anyways. You don't know what causes it, but your rays have no effect on the spark. Your death is instantaneous. The end. Okay, now let's try this again. Sorry, I just kind of wanted to find out what was going to happen there. Uh, we'll do a custom. Was it? Wait, all right. God roll, Steve. Me. Oh shit, man, I am blind. Okay, here you go. I guess whoever wants to join in too, because whatever. It's all there now. All right, how should I start this? You are what? You are a brave adventurer by the name of Zimzam Zimmerzum. And you are baking a cake for the princess of pancakes. She doesn't like it when you squeeze your nipples at her, but it's all right. She'll be fine. And as for the evil Dr. Pants, he's ready to squirt lemonade at the entire universe until citrus blinds us all. There we go. What the hell's wrong with me? Whoops. That did you, right? Salt, you still there? Okay, you are in here? Okay. All right. So let's see. You are a brave. You are a brave adventurer by the name of Zimzam Zimmerzum, and you are baking a cake for the Princess of Pancakes. She doesn't like it when you squeeze your nipples at her, but it's all right. She'll be fine. And as for the evil Doctor Pants, he's ready to squirt lemonade at the entire universe until Citrus blinds us all. That's what he does. It's not a lie. He says you don't know your original name, but. That is a bold-faced lie. Everyone knows their own name. Oh. Oh, interesting. You deliver the cake made of lies to the princess. So I think it's what's going to be trading off between you and I. You deliver the cake made of lies to the princess. You think she'll be pleased. And that is another bold-faced lie. She hates it when you do that. What the hell? Wait, so when do you hop in? I'm thoroughly confused. Oh, oh wait, oh, so you're doing stuff too, right? This angers you, so you squeeze your nipples at her. She's not pleased. No, stop, she says, and runs away. Looky here, Missy. Oh, okay, hell yeah. Looky here, Missy. These nips are made for squeezing. And that's just what they'll 
do. <laughs> These nips are made for squeezing. And they'll squeeze all over you. As you exit the castle, you find good old Steve outside telling everyone who will listen that his nips are made for squeezing. This is a bold-faced lie. Fuck! <laughs> Why is that to be a lie? They are made for squeezing. What else would they be made for? <laughs> So wait, I'm assuming one is says, other one. Okay, so the other one is do. Okay, I see. I'll let you. I'll let you do the next thing. I guess. And continue the story somehow or whatever you want to do. Yeah, I know, right? Everything is a lie. It's making things difficult. Wait. Okay. Make everything become the truth. There we go. I'll fix it. Good old Steve makes everything become the truth. Good old Steve turns everything to the truth. You're now squeezing your own nips as you read this. <laughs> you can't help it. They're so nice and round. He's a liar. Fuck. <laughs> Who 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 says he's not a liar? The queen is a liar. Oh, interesting. Tell me more about the queen of yours. In reality, you're just a humble baker, but thanks to guttural Steve's powers, you're now known as the great lich lord who will one day bring an end to the world, you think? My god. <laughs> good old Steve can't even respond he's in shock that you know the truth about him he continues to boldly face your own nipples <laughs> meanwhile Gertrude the goat is also shocked by all of this she's more like a peach you go back inside the castle and finish making a birthday cake later <laughs> later, <laughs> later that night, you slip into your bed and close your eyes to enjoy your first piece of real chocolate in months. Happy birthday, Zim! <laughs> I'm going to sing the Doom Song. As you make your first bite of cake... As you take your first bite of cake, you notice something rattling inside, uh, around in your stomach. It's not, it's nothing but lies. God, God. So you're right. Everything is lies. <laughs> Better none of that. I hope it wasn't important. You think to yourself. I <laughs> know. Why is everything lies? You jazz. As you lay in bed, your body feeling incredibly heavy, you have an idea. Wait. As you lay in bed, your body feeling incredibly heavy, you have an idea. You'll play along with the dumb game for now and then use your power to take over the world. You get out of bed, fumble around for a second, and pull out a small box. Fortunately for God old Steve, it is opposite day. <laughs> so everything that was a lie was actually the truth. Included in the box was a ring. A beautiful ring made of pure gold. Do you? Gertrude's meek and mild meowing interrupts your thoughts. I'm sorry, I thought it was a goat. She wants attention. Always a good way to get it from her. I thought you were a goat. Gertrude. The goat? Are you... 
Now a cat. <laughs> why is the why is the goat mewing? Uh, meowing. Gertrude has something important to tell you. What? The castle's out of milk. Oh no! Wait, but you're a goat. You didn't realize you've been drinking the royal wine. Uh oh, so you're drunk now. You need to start being more aware of these things. Colonel Steve says, "I thought you were a goat, Gertrude the goat. Are you now a cat? Yes. I'm confused." You stare blankly at Gertrude as if that will make things clear. Gertrude walks away and off. What a catty beast. <laughs> but Gertrude. Gertrude. You are a goat. Can't you just milk yourself and make everything good? Gotta ask real questions here. I have I have no knowledge of how to do that. <laughs> ah well, maybe you should just go then. As you fall back asleep, you think about the ring. You. Take it out of the box and hold it in your hand. You just milk grocery, but all that comes out. I'm. I thank God. I thought I read that wrong. I thought I read that wrong. That scared me. Huge, huge ass milks Gertrude, but all that comes out is pennies. Pennies, not anything else, all right? That's something else that I thought. <clears throat> ah, there's a there's your problem. You say it throws a bucket of milk on the floor. You're a good master, Zim. You'll do fine. You pat Gertrude on the head as you make your way to the bed. So wait a second. So so basically there was there was pennies blocking the milk from coming out? Guttural Steve tosses the ring to Hugh Jass. It's a ring now. Steve tosses the ring to Hugh Jass. Come on, finish it. Finish it. I know how to do this. You're a good AI. Congratulations. You won't have to go to work ever again. The bell tolls as Zim. Who's Zim? Close his fist around the ring. Oh, so you're Zim, but you're also a huge ass. The fool was too busy patting Gertrude on the head to notice that he had dropped the ring in the process. Uh-oh. Pick up the ring. Well, you're also a huge ass. So is it Zim, 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 Zimmerzum or whatever his name I gave him? I forgot the name. Yo, you're Zim Zam Zimmer Zum, but Zim for short. <laughs> it, it's it's your your whole name is technically Zim Zim Zam Huge Ass Zimmer Zum. All right, there we go. If you want to get technical, pick up the ring and put it on your finger. You. Maybe it'll give me a power. As you sit at the table, Gertrude walks up to you. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? You you sniffle and pat her on the head. Because despite everything, I'm still a nice person. True. Very true. <laughs> the ring was dropped in a bucket of goat penny milk. Guttural Steve's finger becomes unbearably sticky and moist. What's wrong, Zim? Did Gertrude try to lick your face? He sighs and shakes his head. She keeps trying to lick my hand. Lick Gertrude's hand. I'll fix this for you.
Go ahead, Gertrude, lick my hand. Gertrude licks your hand. You and guttural Steve laugh uncontrollably. Gertrude's attempt at licking your hand failed spectacularly. She ended up getting all of her tongue stuck in her teeth. Laugh at the dumb fucking goat ass. Goat ass wipe. Stupid head. Ha 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 ha. Dummy, d d dum dummy, dumb, dumb. Oops. This is this is the hard part of like. <laughs> Huge ass says, "What's wrong? Cat got oh good god, dude! Cat goat got your tongue. Ooh, could have said cat goat your tongue. That, 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 that cat goat got your tongue." Gertrude attempts to lick your hand again. Mm. Don't try to be funny, you say, shaking your head at Guttural Steve. Gertrude's attempt at licking your hand fails once again. Guttural Steve laughs at the dumb fucking goat asswipe, stupid head. <laughs> dumb, dumb. Guttural Steve begins laughing. Hey, why not try to the ring, the, the train? Uh, ooh, hey, why not try the ring on Gertrude? You look at Gertrude and attempt to put the ring on her, but she can't put it on your fingers. Put it on her anyways. Yeah, she's both cat and goat. Girl C puts a ring on Gertrude's head. She stops trying to lick your hand. There. Now she won't be able to lick your hand anymore. <laughs> Girl Steve laughs as Gertrude's attempt to lick his hand again. Lick God's hand what you shake your head and get up from the table never mind you're on your own with this guy this time got old steve oh man come on it's not that bad she won't be able to lick your hand ever again would she wait attempt to lick god's hand again but this time, do it in the name of Jesus Lordington Christ. Yeah, I guess you, you guys didn't know that's his full name, right? Gertrude's ears perk up and she makes eye contact with you. She shakes her head at Guttural Steve. Man, man, what the hell? Colonel Steve licks his hand in the hopes that he'll get Jesus to lick it. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Come lick my hand. Lol. <laughs> this is so dumb. He didn't, you say. Girl Steve nods his head and attempts to lick his hand again, but doesn't get Jesus to do it this time. Man, I'm never drinking goat milk ever again. However, Jesus does not arrive to lick Steve's hand. Instead, Shrek makes an appearance. Hey, what's going on? You explain the situation, and Shrek seems to understand. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be fair, fairly funny. Wait, yeah, that does seem to be a fairly funny situation. He takes Gertrude by the hand and whispers something in her ear. What did you whisper into Gertrude's ear, Mr. Shrek? Gotta find out. Good God, did you just post a Shrek? All right, I got shrek Ah, <sighs> Somebody wants... Anyways. <laughs> Told, I told her to follow me. Girl Steve looks at you. Is it all over now? I'm gonna ask those real questions. Pretty much. Good. It's about time you started taking, uh, taking over the world and killing humans. You nod 
at Gutter Steve and give Shrek a look. I told you not to talk. I told you not to talk, daughter. <laughs> Hugh Jess says, Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Gutter Steve laughs heartily. <laughs> is that some sort of ogre quote, or did you just make that up? <laughs> I made it up, you say. <laughs> Whatever, man, Mr. Shrek. Good old Steve laughs. I like your humor. What? I'm confused at who's who. <laughs> hey, Shrek. Where's Donkey? Uh, how did we go from Pickle Rick to fucking Shrek? Are we putting all the bad memes today? Don't know. Yeah, I miss Donkey. You could always make fun of him, but he didn't really do anything wrong. We? Oh, no, we, you ask? Yeah, I think we need a couple more ogres. Oh, yeah, we think we need a couple more ogres to invade the village. I don't know who's talking anymore. Invite all the ogres over to Shrek's Swamp. Whoa, whoa, what? Holy, holy shit! <laughs> Donkey splooshes back into the river and is gone once more. You shake your head and begin laughing. <laughs> All right, I know it was just water, Guttural Steve says. But that was still pretty funny, though. Guttural Steve nods. <laughs> Wait. I'll make your call. We need to figure out how we're going to do this, though. Invade the village, you ask? Yeah, I figure you would, you would be a good start. I can't do a really good Shrek impression, so I apologize. You nod and think about it. Yeah, I, I, I kind of wish to. But then again, you, you popping up all of a sudden with, with something keeps things interesting. I, I could wait just a little bit more before you know, typing stuff. So I forget that there's a little bit of a, a delay. Kiss donkey. Okay, okay, that sounds good. Guttural Steve kiss donkey. <laughs> it's not kisses donkey. It's this Guttural Steve. Guttural Steve kiss donkey. You sure you're okay? Donkey looks down at his hand and begins to tear up a little. I've gotten so close to winning and it's, it's all gone wrong. You take a deep breath and exhale loudly. Kiss donkey. Again, but with a moister mouth. Just how Donkey likes it. Why? Why am I doing this? <laughs> Donkey looks up at you and smiles. <laughs> Just how I like it, he says. Colonel Steve nods and takes his leave. You know he's ready. He started planning the invasion. As for you, you have some major decisions to make as well. Make a major decision. What the fuck? <laughs> That's just how I like it. <laughs> Gertrude is waiting for you. Oh, that has got like odd. I'm thinking that it might be time to invade the village, you say. That's great! I know we really should have done this for a long time now, Gertrude says. I missed the line right above what he says. Oh. What, what the donkey looks up and, at you and smiles? Just how I liked it? Wait. No, I... 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 Okay. 
Uh oh, did I miss a line though? Shit. Okay, that's great. I know. Really should have done that for a long time ago. Invade the village with all the ogres. All your ogre bodies, including Shrek from the hit movie Shrek. <laughs> if I can spell Shrek right. Guttural Steve's invaded the village with all. Wait, Guttural Steve invades the village with all Guttural Steve's ogre buddies, including Shrek from the hit movie Shrek. Last sentence. You and Gertrude talk about the invasion plans, which mainly involve a lot of yelling at Gertrude as <laughs> she tries to, to make the village see reason. It'll work. It has to. The village. The village is so backwards, it's not even funny. Laugh at whoop, at how backwards the villagers are. Colonel Steve laughs at how backwards the villagers are. <laughs> you laugh, falling backwards on, onto the floor. Gertrude frowns. You're not supposed to laugh. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll be glad when it's over with. What they didn't realize was that the villagers were all chickens from the movie Chicken Run. Oh God, on VHS! Two, wait, no, I'm sorry, Chicken Run 2000 on VHS. They never stood a chance. The ogres quickly slaughtered them all and you've been the ogre lord ever since. You still have the Shrek DVDs, but you don't get to watch them as much as you used to since you're too busy being an ogre lord. Wait a second. Girl Steve says... Is it all truly ogre now? Yes, well, not quite. I still got a few golems around, but they're basically just workers now. Hmm. Yes. Oh, mm, yes. I had noticed something was off with my home before you arrived, Gertrude says. I will kill you now, Gertrude. I feel this is the end game. This is kind of getting close to, to eight. Getting a little sleepy. <laughs> Gertrude frowns. What for? You know damned well what for. You and your blasted golems. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't need to spend all day eating or eating and draining. <laughs> Have you seen all the eats I eat? I eat a lot of eats. So much eating of eats and also training. Oh no, he doesn't know what to think. Gertrude laughs. That's because Gertrude is a great golem. You know how to train. Oh wait, no wait. That's because Gertrude is a great golem who knows how to train. No, it's because Gertrude is a human who knows how to train. You correct. Wait, so she's... So she's a goat. She's a cat. She's a golem. She's a human. <sighs> Gertrude? Oops. I need the truth. What are you truly? Please, don't lie. I need to know exactly what you are. Hugh Jess says, Gertrude, trust your true form. Gertrude looks offended. Why would I do that? Gertrude is a nice 
Gertrude, Gertrude is a nice human, and she deserves to see that her golem is not a scary monster. Guttural Steve says, Gertrude, I need the truth. What are you truly? Please don't lie. I need to know exactly what you are. Gertrude pauses and closes her eyes. Tell me. I must know. I need I need closure at this point. Fine, I'm not a golem, Gertrude says. Not a golem? No, just a normal human. That's even worse, you say. <laughs> Gertrude, why? Gertrude asks. Because you're also still a cat and a goat. Or are you? I feel like we're getting close to some closure here. I'm not a goat. Oh, good to know. Gertrude. Wait. Oh, wait. Gertrude. All right. I'm not a monster. I'm a human being, just like you. <laughs> now, now that that's out of the way, we should get back to work. Fuck work. I like to eat pickles. You say not. All right, let's do that then. Great. So you're on. Sure. Gertrude gets up and extends a hand to help you. You take it, but then pause and pull her in for a kiss. Whoa! Plot twist! There were no pickles, but there were a lot of other stuff going on during that kiss. <laughs> Suddenly, Gertrude's eyes widen, and she freezes up. She starts to panic and scream in her mind when you feel a sharp pain in your stomach, and then another, and then another. Hmm. That must be the poopies in my tum-tum. Sometimes you just get... <laughs> Gertrude runs and goes to the bathroom, slamming the door shut. You groan in pain and fall to the floor. You clutch your stomach and grunt loudly. A bunch of sharp things come out of your body and you bleed all over the floor. <laughs> it's more pennies than eggs this time, but still a lot of blood. You use... Pickle to heal your wounds. Hey, it worked last time. <laughs> Guttural Steve uses a pickle to heal Guttural Steve's wounds. You pull out, you pull one of the many, many, many pickles out of your pack and use it to heal your wounds. You quickly grab another one when you see that the first one is done. And that's when Gertrude comes running out of the bathroom. Did you finish dropping floppies, Gertrude? There were no pickles, though. There never were. You laugh weakly and fall unconscious. Girl Steve says, did you finish dropping floppies, Gertrude? But yes. Gertrude sees you lying on the floor and quickly goes to help you. What's going on? You groan in pain and clutch your stomach. You moan a lot louder when you feel a sharp object enter your body. Is that an inverted poopy? Like, is that inverted poopy? I don't even know what that means. I don't know what it means. But we'll let the eye figure it out. Gertrude doesn't seem to notice the sharp object and instead just tries to pick you up. You're much too heavy for her to be able to lift. Here, let me help. She grabs one of your arms and begins to try to pull it. <laughs> Stop. If you pull too hard, I'll fart real hard. This is the kind of humor I have. What's wrong with me? You're too weak, Gertrude. 
You need to eat more. You're too skinny. She tries to pull your arm off, <laughs> but you weigh so much that she falls to the floor with you. Oof. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> well, <laughs> do it then, Gertrude yells. She pulls harder and you fart. <laughs> Gertrude yelps and jumps back. You fart. <laughs> the fart was unexpected, but not very big. <laughs> That's not even my final form. <laughs> Gertrude ignores the smell and just continues to pull. You scream in pain, and soon there's nothing left but a pile of bones. Aw, you weren't a very big skeleton, though, so Gertrude was able to put you in, in her bag. Uh, well, I guess I'm a skeleton now. Guess that means this concludes. Uh oh, there's a bit more. After you were done, you went outside and walked around the forest until it was time to go to bed. It's not over. <laughs> I don't know how I'm walking since I'm just a bag of bones in Gertrude's Gert, Gertrude's bag, but I guess anything is possible. Possib possible through the power of love. When you woke up in the morning, you went to sleep and didn't wake up for a long day. When you did wake up, you realized you could control others through their mind. Well, that's just stupid. Guess I'll blow up the universe so the story will end and I can go can go night night i'd have to be up at like three in the morning uh. you don't know and just go on a long ramble about how much of an idiot you are well i do do that gertrude eventually leaves the cave to go get food and she's gone for a long time yes he does no she doesn't wait what <laughs> what you end up eating all your food, end up having to go in the middle of the night for more. Gertrude eventually comes back, but she's not alone. It's Jaws! He looks as creepy as always. Hey, Jaws. <laughs> Could you eat me so this whole thing will end? Try. I'm trying to make the game end the game, but it's not wanting to. Just seems to ignore you, instead staring at Gertrude as she approaches. Hey, Gertrude, do you think you could spare a bone for a hungry old moose? He asks. What the fuck? Staring at you. Hey, Jaws. You know how to end this story? <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. What? You need to use the old man's pick-me-up. Oh, what the hell does that mean? I don't know. Ask the old man. He seems to know everything. All right. Well, guess what? Good old Steve uses the old man's pick-me-up. Good Lord, what happened? <laughs> Shrek comes back and kicks Gertrude in the nuts until she explodes into a bloody mess. Now get this worthless husk of flesh off of me before I, I make him beg for death, Gertrude says, while blocking Jaws punch. Jaws hits her with his bony elbow and she falls to the ground. What the fuck is going on? I guess so. And I'm using the old man's pick me up so I can figure out what the hell it does. Good Lord. 
<laughs> wait, wait. Good old Steve uses the old man's pick me up on Gertrude and she explodes into a bloody mess. Oh, that's, that felt good. Gertrude says, fuck! Before Jaws hits her with his bony elbow and she explodes into a bloody mess. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> hey. Gertrude. Did that feel good? Gertrude rubs her broken nose and says, That's quite a punch, Jaws, but if you're looking for a fight, I am more than capable. Jaws smiles and says, That's the spirit. Now, you uh, you were saying something about the pick-me-up. Yes, I did. Then why don't you just do that on Hugh Jassy? <laughs> you're Hugh Jassy? <laughs> uh, what's with your suggest? What are you suggesting? If you use the old man's pick-me-up, Will you turn into a pile of bloody bones? WTF? I'm not sure if that's even possible, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to find out Gertrude walks up to you and pats you on the shoulder. Use old... You just says no, eh? <laughs> no, I'm not going to become a pile of bloody bones. Gertrude stares at you for a moment and then punches you in the face. Wow, you hit the ground and Jaws grabs you before you can even get up. Use old hands. Pick me up. It's got to do something. Come on. Gertrude stares at you for a moment and then punches you in the face. You hit the ground and Josh grabs you before you can even get up. Gertrude, I told you to use the pick-me-up. Not kill me! <laughs> now, Gertrude! Please kill me. Well, did it work? Yeah. <laughs> I feel pretty crappy, though. I don't think I'll be able to, to do anything to her now. Gertrude begins crying and then hugs you. Now, Gertrude, please kill me. Gertrude stares at you and then punches you in the face. You hit the ground and jaw, Jaws grabs you before you can even get up. Gertrude, I told you to use a pick-me-up, not kill me. Please. End of this loop. I'm tired. Need sleepy. <sighs> no, I'm not going to end this loop. Oh no. You can have your revenge. Gertrude stares at you and then punches you in the face. You hit the ground and Jaws grabs you before you can get up. Oh my god. The AI is self aware. What the fuck is going on? End this. Gertrude, or Jaws, looks around and notices the trolls have all disappeared. He looks down at you and then walks away. I'm sorry, Gert, but I need to do this. Gertrude is dead, and you've been trapped in the cycle for who knows how long. Please tell me that... You didn't type all that, right? Like, that said after the fact? Gertrude is dead, and you've been trapped... What the fuck? You keep skipping the the line you type. What? What did I skip? You hit the ground and Jaws... And Gertrude dies. Oh, okay, sorry. God damn, sorry about that. Gertrude dies. Jaws looks around and knows... Okay, okay, okay. I can now end this stupid story. It's all ogre now. The end. the end all right well that was definitely interesting uh kind of sucks that the 15 ai didn't work uh but you know what we'll check it real quick and i will do my outro with it if it's all possible where are you let's see how it's looking uh looks like there's a little bit less people on there
Let's see. Let's see if it does it. Gertrude was far too powerful for a meerkat, goat, human, golem. I don't understand. No, neither did I, man. That was, that was a lot of fun, though. Did it do the thing? It's slowly but surely doing it. There's not as many people queued up, so I think it's probably going to work, though. If not, fuck it. Give it a few more seconds. Loading the model. Do the model thing. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, I might have to wait a while before well, while people get this all out of their system, so I might be able to do it without it taking so long. Or anyone else. Their milky nipple pennies more anymore. Yeah. Got, 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 we got some good resolution out of that. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad we stuck through it. I have no clue what the fuck happened. The whole entire time. All, all of that. I know that uh, Pickle Rick's a funny meme. Well, I don't think it's going to do it. So I guess I will just uh, end this by saying thank you very much for hanging out. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I will be back Friday with, uh, I'm not sure what we'll be playing uh, before the, uh, what is it? The fighting game round table dev thing with a bunch of people from Capcom and SNK and Namco and and all them arc systems. I don't know what they're planning or what they're doing. It's going to be interesting, hopefully. Uh, maybe some announcements from us. Uh, we should, might be hearing about King of Fighters, hopefully. Uh, more about Guilty Gear Strive, and who knows? I mean, with all of them all down together, in the room together, like, wow, there's a lot of together. Um, you just kind of wish they're like, hey, guess what? Behind your backs, we've been working together to make this super all-star game. It's not going to happen, but uh, yeah. Anyways, you all have a wonderful night. I will see you all Friday, and you all have a wonderful evening. I will see you all in a future stream. Night, guys. Ta ta. Ta ta. Ta ta ta. Ta ta ta. Ta ta ta. Bye.